6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top. And we have engine start. And lift off. Décollage. Décollage, lift off from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. Punching a hole through the clouds, 20 seconds into the flight, good pitch program reported. Vehicle performance is nominal. The Ariane 5 rocket continues uh, to fly uphill in nominal fashion. 3D animation. We can hear the noise and feel the vibrations here. You're right, Rob. Yeah, impressive. 13 kilometers in altitude, 7 kilometers downrange, traveling uh, about uh, 0.6 kilometers per second. The trajectory reported to be nominal by Jean-Luc Voyer, the uh, range operations manager. You can see at the bottom of your screen the yellow line is the trajectory plot perfectly overlaid over the green line which was the pre-launch trajectory. One minute 41 seconds into the flight, about 40 seconds away from shutdown of the solid rocket boosters. Threshold, it will separate. Separation des EAP. Done. We have confirmation of solid rocket booster separation from Jean-Luc Voyer. This coming at an altitude of 44 miles. The Ariane 5 and James Webb traveling almost 5,000 miles an hour. We have about one minute, five seconds to go before fairing jettison. That'll be the next critical milestone. And let's go down to the floor uh, in the Jupiter Control Center to Raphael Chevrier of Ariane Spas. Raphael, so far so good. Hi, Rob. So far, so good. Everything is nominal, as uh, we say, when attitude and trajectory of the Ariane 5 is going perfectly well. As you can see also on the yellow line, de la coiffe. on the screen, we had the confirmation of the uh, separation perfectly smoothly. So let's continue the mission. And Raphael, uh, this is a view uh, from the upper stage camera called the Vicky Cam. Looking back at the James Webb Space Telescope, this is on about a 20 second delay or so because of the way the imagery is processed uh, here in the control room. There's your telescope ready to unfurl uh, its uh, wings basically and begin uh, its uh, journey to a, the Lagrange point, the L2 point, about a million miles away from Earth. Extinction de l'EPC. Operation EPC. And we have main stage shutdown and separation confirmed here in the Mission Control Center and the ignition of that upper Allumage stage. PSC. And Raphael Chevrier down uh, in the fishbowl. Uh, so far, so good. Any risk of pollution towards the telescope. And we're about uh, 17 seconds away from web separation. And there is the view uh, from the upper stage camera on the Ariane 5 looking at the James Webb Space Telescope as it moves uh, gently away from its launch vehicle. Fantastic pictures of this telescope. Go Web, go Web. Yes, go Web. Ironically enough, as we marvel on uh, this view from the upper stage camera, this will be humanity's last view of the James Webb T Space Telescope as it moves to its work uh, place about a million miles away from Earth. Yes, you're right, Rob. Impressive, fantastic pictures. Yeah.
Now we'll be hearing uh, shortly from the Mission Operations Manager at the Space Telescope Science Institute, uh, Carl Starr, who will be uh, calling out uh, the procedures that will lead uh, to the deployment of Webb's solar array. And down uh, in the fishbowl uh, where there is jubilation, let's go to Raphael uh, Chevrier of Ariane Spas. And before we do that, uh, Raphael, uh, a bit earlier than planned, but there is the solar array having been deployed. James Webb now uh, has its array out as we stand by for a confirmation that it is power positive. Hey, Rob. J'entends pas ce qu'il me dit. Il m'a appelé ou pas Il m'a appelé ou pas, Romain Non, il t'a pas appelé. 